quite a lot of actual CGI. So let's get this out of the way right off the bat. You know I'm into all of this kind of stuff. I've seen the anime before years ago and loved it. So take that well-deserved sin off and if you give me a season 2 down the road I'll be extremely happy, you know what I mean? The notion that he's talking that loudly and yet no one in the cafeteria can hear him. He's like proper yelling over there and they're none the wiser. No you didn't you friggin liar you. You said you hadn't talked to any girls when asked and then said he should be content to sit and watch them rather than going over to speak with them. Certainly never said it was pointless. Dude, she'd have to have the greatest eyes in history to read that tiny ass writing. Clearly she knew the character on it. I'd definitely have presumed that rather than thinking she might be half hawk or something instead. She did ask if there was any questions in fairness. This lady manages one more whip even after she's already pointing it at these boys. Now that's some Matrix style punishment if I've ever seen it. She's like between worlds with it or something, you know what I mean? She says, so the prison actually exists, even though it was very clearly sat there in the middle of the courtyard, looking very prisonish with its metal gates and barred windows and stuff. Like what the hell did she think that building was if not a prison? <sighs> Being this nice to animals is always a sin removal. How would a stomachache possibly work as an excuse to get a weekend off anyway? You can maybe use that to not have to work, but if you're not working, you're not exactly going to be gifted with a weekend off to go out and about, are you? <sighs> Imagine still shining it into his eyes when he's already noticed you. Like at that point, you're now just slightly being irritating. <laughs> Not sure why he's so confident that he definitely won't be getting a furlough, considering the president only said earlier on that at this rate they would be forced to work over the weekend too. Not that they definitely would have to. For the first and only time of the video. It's more to the point that he's saying that breaking out and remaining undetected for the entire time is difficult. The breaking out in and of itself is fairly straightforward, especially given the hole he himself dug. <laughs> Sitting on a face related sound effects, oddly brought to you by someone crumpling up a bunch of very noisy plastic. <sighs> Dude, it was literally like 10 feet away. I think you'd have definitely heard some kind of commotion had it occurred. She's right there in front of them. I don't understand how everyone's hearing is so poor if they happen to not be a male. I suppose it depends on whether or not you could see the corresponding thought bubble of what he did. This made me laugh so much, the most in a long time, so that's definitely worth a rare extra sin off right there. Oh my! 
どうしたんだよそれ今日小生がしたことを深く反省して副会長殿にバリカンで頭を丸めてもらったのでござる I'm more confused about how her shaving his headless penance meant anything to the president whom he did the actual offensive deed to. Like he pulled down her skirt, and yet the vice president is the one forgiving his actions by shaving his head. Speaker, I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you. No. If you get back to the next train, it'll be perfect. More like after he gets back inside and remains undetected the entire time, he will have been successful. Once he jumps over the stall, he randomly begins to float towards the window. It must be love. Nanka, kinchou shite kita na. Datte hajimete da mon na. Gakuseizu mo. You know, one element of the plan I don't really understand is why the girl would be on board with taking the train to meet up with him, rather than both of them heading out from the school grounds, since that's where they both are. He told her he had got permission to leave. Would seem odd to head out separately from the same school to meet somewhere else. Ah, the train came from the station. Yes. Okay. 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 Is that normal? Bringing a face cloth for a dude on a date? Is that Japanese custom? Dude, imagine making your way all the way there and yet not thinking to close your bag that holds the disguise that you used to escape. Like literally no one would do that. He put it all in there, then just never zipped it up. Bruh. I like how she focuses solely on that and not the bit about him dressing up in a girl's uniform in order to escape, which throws her whole he's got my uniform and is being gross with it idea out of the window. <laughs> Why they be acting like once you fill out the name bit that you automatically are like teleported outside of the school ground, never to be able to return? If you change your mind, just go ahead and put it in the bin. Clearly, his erection touching her killed her. It's the only logical explanation. So this video has ended with the first half officially getting 23 cents, but let me just say for the record, yeah, this anime is a 10 out of 10 for me. That might make you chuckle, but it genuinely is. I absolutely fucking love it. Not only does it make me laugh a lot, but, well, I mean, you know, it ticks boxes that most don't. So yeah, I dig it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully it goes without saying that I cannot wait to cover the second half in a couple weeks' time. See you then, teehee! <laughs> Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Tyler Warner, PK Fan, Ali 50, Brian Anderson, Isael Caldera, Mr. Waffle 64, Kieran Robinson, Chris Harris, Yona Shao, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Kim Munt, Jason Davies, The Element Taylor Wars, Manuel Morales, Carlito, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Blitz Cloud, Sebastian Ramirez, Aura Keeper, Jeffa 6263, Magnus, Kevin Nelter, Anarchy Curve, Brendan Kreia, Karsh Wolzelman, Jordan Samuels, Sean Graves, The Epic Commander, Crimson Shadows, Kyle Farmer, Fedora Blue, Matthew Fitzworth, Sentimento, Dayton 2000, Maki San, Storm 970, Inakami and Water.